Welcome back, Roadie Foodie fam. Uh, th is this is this the last video? This might be the last video in Picayune. I mean, you guys might see a little bit in the vlogs, but uh, if you're new to the channel, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe. Also, we are doing still our holiday hope drive. Um, is it December yet? It's near December. Uh, we're trying to raise some money for an organization called Home and Wheels Alliance. It helps. Uh, uh, victims of domestic violence, uh, elderly folks, um, the working poor uh, get into vans and RVs so that they don't have to be homeless and have a place to live. Okay? All right. That's down in the description below. So I saw this place called Two Sisters Creole Kitchen. And uh, I was driving around town and uh, I finally found parking. And I went inside looked at the menu it all looked great they had a lot of good stuff but this this is their special today and the special is meatloaf with with tomato gravy never had in my life uh i usually have the brown gravy right um uh cheesy potatoes i think it was corn and this wasn't on the menu but uh or this wasn't on a thing, but you also get us some toast, I guess, to soak it all up in. And also, guys, this is my first sweet tea ever. Exclusive. Look how big. <laughs> when they're like, you want some sweet tea? I'm going to give you some sweet tea. Look at this thing. How many ounces is this? Is this like 32 ounces or something? All right, here we go. <clears throat> first set, southern sweet tea. Never had it. Got the hatch. <clears throat> that is so sweet. Okay, now I know why they call it sweet thing. All right, here we go. <laughs> wow, that is uh, that'll wake you up in the morning. We don't drink, we don't drink like we don't drink tea like that in the north. All right, let's let's dig into this. I'm salivating. I want to. I want first of all. I want to say a big thank you to the city of Picayune for uh, embracing me, welcoming me with open arms. Thank you, Picayune. With the tomato gravy. I'm like, I wanna like scrape it off. You guys see what I'm doing here? Here we go, big bite. Mmm. With some butter, all that. Guys, give me about 30 seconds here. Give me about 30 seconds. You guys know me. I like to get everything on one bite. I just want to get the whole flavor profile. Magnifique. But again, like I was saying earlier too, guys, like I can't wait to come back picking you in about a year or two. This whole main, I think it's Highway 11, is all under construction. And I've been asking the town, what the heck is going on? I'm parked in like, uh, shout out to Rick's Swimming Pool Supplies. He moved to 207 East Canal Street. Shout out to Rick. His storefront moved. It's because they're going to be expanding the, the streets and stuff. That's crazy. I don't even know how much this uh, this construction has been going on. Whew. That's sweet. So two things I want to talk about, guys. It's going to be a, uh, this is going to be a, a chat and eating video. Once, one, again, I want to thank the town, uh, the city of Picayune. It's been amazing here. And surrounding areas. you got Carrier... Uh, over the border um, in Louisiana, Slidell, Covington. Shout out to Adam and Jessica. You guys 
most amazing hosts ever. This meatloaf is insane. I've never had meatloaf where it's this, um, like it's this thick, almost like a, almost like a steak. Mmm. I don't know. I haven't had one bad meal down here. I think in you know, past life I lived in the South. Mm. The second thing also, guys, is I had a little I don't know if it's an epiphany. I had a moment of clarity earlier today. That I was, um, <clears throat> that I had to take a moment and just stop. Stop my planning. Stop my day. And I think this is a powerful thing for everybody out there. I had to just stop everything and just be thankful for not only for what I have, but literally, I am living my dream right now. And it's crazy, when you're in the middle of living your dream, you don't really realize that you're living your dream. Because you're, you're, you know, we're busy bodies, we're moving around, we're moving and shaking. Um, so I, 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 was laying, I, I was laying in bed, and I just had a moment, I was like, and this happened in Louisiana too, yesterday. I was like, I'm in Louisiana, Mississippi, man, eating my way through the South. And, you know, I, I don't work for a soul-sucking corporation. <laughs> I know that sounds bad to say out loud, but I have to laugh about it. Um, I'm my own boss, uh, uh, if you want to look at it that way. I'm just, it's just, and then the three weeks that I had in Florida... It's just insane, and uh, it goes by so fast, too, guys. I can't believe it's already, like, basically December. And um, it, uh, even when you're living your dream, time goes by fast. And it's like, oh, my God. You know, I, I still have so much more that I want to accomplish, see, taste, feel, enjoy. This is phenomenal. Guys, look how thick that is. Thick and dense. Mm. I'm literally living my dream. And it's crazy that you have to, you have to get out of your own way. I was in my way so much. And, you know, I was doing my due diligence. I was setting things in motion. I was doing the right things so that when I was ready, but I was never like ready. You're, you, you get that, you get that feeling of readiness after. It's a real bizarre phenomenon. It's so bizarre. Oh my God, I keep forgetting how sweet that is. It's good though. Um, you 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 get the courage. You 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 get the you get the readiness. You 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 get the you you get all of the all that stuff that you think that you're gonna have before taking the leap, but you t you really get it afterwards. I hope I'm making sense because that's 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 what you guys are going to get from me today. I just, uh, and the things that I have planned for the next month or two, you know, we're going to be driving through Tennessee, driving through D.C. I'm meeting up with a friend in New Jersey. Um, I 
I eventually have to make it back to Rhode Island for a wedding. But the way that this channel is going to go, guys, I want to give you kind of an update too. A little channel update. Maybe I'll put this in the, in the title so you know. In January, I need to decide there's two different paths that this channel can take. That's good butter. There's two paths. One can continue traveling, eating, uh, start exploring the West. I want to start exploring all the national parks on the West Coast. You know, Arizona, Utah, Nevada, California. Basically the Southwest region. I mean, I want to get into like Colorado and Utah. And I've never been to like Montana and the Dakotas and Wyoming. Like I, I want to do that stuff too. So it'd be kind of a Southwest... Southwest Midwest tour um, and I can still do that but when is it gonna happen is it gonna happen in the earlier of the year or is it gonna happen in the fall and you're asking yourselves loop what the hell are you talking about what are you gonna do in between the February to like September time well one of the paths that we could take guys is And it sounds psycho, but I think we're all a little tapped upstairs anyways, is I'm thinking about and I'm giving myself the time frame. I don't know if I'll be able to even last a week, but I want to allow myself the space in order to if I was like in a groove to do it. Is uh, I want to hike the Appalachian Trail. And if you've been part of this channel from the very beginning, uh, you know that that's one of my life streams. And, you know, we would still technically be traveling. And we'll, you know, there's a, there's a town almost every three or four days on the trail. For like resupplies and... If you have to take what they call a zero day, means you hiked zero days that day. Stay in a hostel stay in a motel or something so I want to let you guys know that that's basically what's in my mind right now is that for the next six weeks right mid January yeah for the next six weeks we're gonna be preparing this channel for those two eventualities the traveling and eating is always gonna be a part of it but how we're going to do that on the, in, in, the, in the first half of the year is going to be fundamentally different. And I have seen other YouTubers uh, kind of blog their, vlog their whole way through the trail, give you daily, daily videos in the morning. Well, or guys. Or we just continue. Continue on the road. We'll see. There's one little decision that needs to be made uh, around that time frame. And so I want to prepare you guys for the two eventualities. This has been phenomenal. Shout out to uh, Two Sisters Creole Kitchen here. I ate all your meatloaf. I'm going to smash down the rest of your, the rest of your potatoes. Your peppercorn here, or seasoned corn rather, phenomenal. By the way, I don't think it was cheesy potatoes, I think it was creamy, creamy mashed potatoes, phenomenal. Mm. So that was the second thing I want to talk about. Going back to the first again, thank you Picayune, can't wait to be back. Thank you for my first experience of sweet tea. Oh. I'd like to know the story behind sweet tea. 
like where it originated, why there's so much sugar in it. <clears throat> I'm sure that it, like everything else, if you go back to food, guys, there's a reason why food happened. There's a reason why we drink certain things at certain times or eat certain foods at certain part of the year. There's a reason why certain meats are prepared a certain way because there's a story behind it. And I would love to know the story behind sweet tea uh, and why it exists. Um, thank you again, everybody. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, the, next, uh, the next two or three months of this channel uh, are going to be absolutely chaotic and nuts. But that's, oh, that's me. That's Lupe. Nuts and chaotic, son. All right, let me get going because I'm like, I'm literally parked in a, I think, construction zone. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Be well, eat well. And make sure you always take care of each other. And take the leap. Hashtag adventure awaits. Cheers.